رمضان كريم 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 شهر والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome back to another episode of the Ramadan series so in this episode we're going to learn the benefit of reciting Surah Mulk Surah Mulk is a surah that we all need to recite Alhamdulillah after Maghrib but before Isha every single day because it's the surah that will protect us from the torment of the grave. Once we are six foot under, then this surah will take the shape of a human form and it will protect us. It will protect us from every angle, whether the, the torment is coming from the right, from the left, from above, from below, whatever angle that torment is coming from in the grave, the punishment that we are receiving, this surah will intercede for us. It will protect us from any form of harm coming to us. There's a narration in a hadith that this surah will actually act as a net. It will be a net that will prevent any form of harm coming to you. Subhanallah. Now sometimes the common question is, can we read it or can we listen to it? The answer is either. Alhamdulillah by either listening to it, so you recite it, either listening to it through your ears or if you recite it through your tongue, Alhamdulillah, the benefit is the same. Okay, so please, please, please make a habit of it. In fact, set yourself a challenge, if not for this Ramadan, for next Ramadan, if not for uh, the month of Shawwal, make yourself a promise that there's only 30 ayahs in Surah Mulk. So if you memorize an ayah a day, Alhamdulillah, through 30 days, you would have memorized the whole of Surah Mulk. Wouldn't that be beautiful that you have that in your heart? Alhamdulillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, there is a surah in the Quran which contains 30 ayahs, Surah Mulk, which keeps interceding for a man until his sins are forgiven. This surah is blessed, is he in whose hand is the dominion, Surah Mulk. Surah number 67. We really need to make sure that Alhamdulillah we not only read this but we aim to try and memorize it if we can. If we're not able to then it's sufficient enough that we recite this every single day up until the rest of our lives inshallah. So if you can read it between the time which is uh, recommended after Maghrib before Isha so if you just sit on your Salama and just recite your Surah Mulk and within the hour Isha would arrive but if you don't have the time and Isha um, is after Isha is the only time you can recite it then equally that is absolutely fine the recommended time is between Maghrib and Isha but if you find you only have time after Isha Salah then Alhamdulillah at least at least recite it Whatever time that may be, try and aim to recite it because like we say, this surah is the only surah that will protect you from the torment of the grave. So inshallah, if this video has benefited you, please pass it on so it can benefit others. And inshallah, I shall see you tomorrow in another episode of the Ramadan series. Up until then, look after yourself. Remember me in your du'as. Allah Hafiz.